Hey guys, welcome back to World of Warships. Today we're taking a look at a little bit lower tier ship. And that's courtesy of you guys. We're gonna do another ship request here. This is where you guys get to choose what we play on the channel. Just comment down below what you'd like to see next. Whatever is most upvoted underneath this video is what I'll end up playing in the next one. Last time you guys wanted to see the graph speed. So we're gonna try it. This is a ship that I haven't played in years bit of a hybrid between a battleship and a cruiser. Got some pretty decent sized guns, especially for tier six, 283 millimeters. 20 second reload, you only get six of them, um, but they should hit pretty hard, especially at this tier where a lot of cruisers actually do have pretty big citadels and uh, not a lot of armor. As they go up in tiers, it becomes a little more tricky. Uh, a lot of them get much better armor, smaller citadels, that kind of thing. Hit points, we have quite a lot at this tier, as well as armor, 25 mil, is going to be okay at this tier. We'll be overmatched by some of the battleships, um, but it will be decent enough, I think, to play a bit of a flanking role. We obviously don't want to take the full focus of an enemy battleship, but flanking is going to work out really well for us. 16 kilometers of range here on the main guns, 8 kilometer torpedoes that are decent. At this tier, they can do some pretty decent work, but 13.7 isn't amazing. Uh, alpha damage, 65 knots of speed is all right as well. We're decently quick at nearly 30 knots here. Our turning circle radius is amazing, and our rudder shift time is just okay. 10, sorry, 11 and a half kilometer detect on these guns is really what we're going to try and take advantage of. Try and stay in concealment, use the hopefully okay accuracy. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely taking aiming systems uh, to try and dev strike some cruisers. That's going to be the idea here. Uh, this is the build that I'm going to go with here. I'm not sure if it's really optimal, but I do want to try out some more of these outnumbered skills on some of these battle cruiser types that somewhat lack dispersion. <laughs> I should probably be trying to take the skills that improve that on ships that I find frustrating with dispersion. Uh, so that's about it for the graph speed. Let's get into a couple of games and see how this thing plays these days. So getting into our first game here, we do find ourselves in some pretty nice matchmaker for us as a tier six ship. Do have a sub and a carry to deal with. It's a little unfortunate, but we'll try and make the most of it. Decent amount of cruisers to go after here as well, which feels really good. Uh, unfortunate, didn't actually get my <laughs> uh, front turrets over that. I haven't played this map in a very long time. Looks like they've updated it pretty nicely, actually. I like that a lot, actually. Ooh, that's someone we definitely would like to go after. An Omaha. Oh, it's so juicy. Okay, he's going after our cruiser here with the torpedo planes. We don't have a lot of teammates here, so we're going to have to play a little bit more passive, I think. Did land a Citadel on the Omaha. Something I didn't mention, but you should know about with this ship, is we do get a heal. Which is amazing. Uh, at this tier, having a heal is a cruiser. Oh, 10k, look at that. Having a heal is just beautiful. Also get ourselves a nice uh, six kilometer hydro, I believe. Feels awesome. Can I actually get over that? Oh, we'll see. Double fire. Yeah, I should probably wrap that. They do have quite a bit here, so we might have to turn out. Um, but I do like pushing into these kind of guys. Let's try and finish off Omaha here. He is so slow. Oh my goodness. Way over let him. Uh, let's go here. There's some torps. Eight kilometers is a bit of an odd number, but can do some good work. I'll take a blind shot. Me as well. Our extra armor here is proving very useful. Just sucks that the uh, uh, carrier is also on this side. I'm actually gonna pop my plane here as well. Gonna have a tough time getting an angle, I think. Because of the uh, sides of the map here. Hmm, I think I have to eat this. This island here is a little annoying. All right, we got heals, it's okay. Hopefully we'll get some spotting soon. Hopefully the carrier doesn't just come to this side over and over and again. That'd be all good things to get. 
Hey, got a shot off. Might grab the Omaha here. See how our team is pushing just so aggressively here? That's really good for us as a team. Uh, and hopefully that also means the carrier is going to go after that. Yeah, there we go. Omaha might be accelerating. Might have put that a little high as well. Yep, too high. Nearly got him, though. Nearly got him. Does our cruiser friend pick him up? Nice. Egg court. That's a scary target. We can kind of hang out here. Don't have to give up too much ground, I don't think. But I don't, I'd rather not give up so much ground. Oh, are we getting the outnumbered here? Ah, that's why our dispersion looks so good. That might be a really good skill that I've just been kind of sleeping on. Overall, I'm typically not a huge fan of battle cruisers in this game. I find them to be just taking the weaknesses of battleships and cruisers and combining them. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know why I focus on the negative aspects of that instead of the positives, but typically it, it's because they take the parts of each ship that I just don't enjoy. I don't enjoy the inconsistency of battleships, but at least you get alpha with a battleship. Um, but then you give it less alpha on a battle cruiser, and then you take some of the weaknesses of cruisers, which is poor armor, <laughs> and combine that together. It's like uh, I don't know, but this outnumbered skill might be might be the way. the The dispersion's looking much better when we have this active. Although you know it is it is diff more difficult to activate, of course. Bastionaire is gonna turn out probably. Maybe not. I don't have too much health left. Gotta be a little careful. Ah, uh, even with the outnumbered poor dispersion there. Use another heal. You want to be a little careful of the egg and court. Please. Uh, okay, egg and court's got HE at least. Really, torp protection hit. That sucks. Uh, I'm not sure. We haven't seen their sub, have we? That's terrifying. Send some AP in there. Could probably get away with turning back in here. Yeah, I think I will. Oh, they got the sub. Oh, he must have been over on the inside then. Not paying attention. Sorry, guys. But we do get ourselves a nice flank here. Oh, I turned so I only get one gun, unfortunately. It's okay. This is going to be a sick flank if we can make it happen. This ship does feel a little slow at times. I'm going to help finish that guy off first. And then we can go after this guy. Ah, okay. A lot of overpens. Well, that was a full pen, I guess. But lacking the citadels I'm looking for. Really, at this tier, perhaps I haven't played it enough recently, but I seem to remember cruisers just exploding at this tier all the time when you're playing anything with bigger guns. Uh, I'll save my plane, I guess. Could help finish off the egg court. Maybe? Kind of angled. Oh, wait. I think this cruiser might pop out. Yeah, good good patience. Patience. It's very very good when we're using a ship like this one. And that outnumbered skill. Oh, there we go. See, that's what we're waiting for. <laughs> that's what we're waiting for with a ship like this. On the flank, getting those big citadel hits. Nice and juicy. All stations requesting fire on the designated target. Oh wow, we even got a lucky citadel at that angle. Little overmatch? Take it. Might even try to finish Agincourt here too for my team. The dispersion looks much better with this outnumbered skill. I, I should try this on some of the higher tier battle cruisers, man. As I miss. <laughs> oh, that's funny. 
Try there. We got a Dallas to deal with. Nice. Looks like a win. Nearly 100k already. It's a pretty good match, I think, for tier 6. Gonna turn out. I don't think he has the armor to deal with us. Nice. We get him. Might Destroy even get ourselves a carrier yet. No promises. Oh, we're so close, man. Just let me lock on, please. There we go. Nice. We can get ourselves this cap and shoot the carrier. Feels good, man. But I do want to make sure we get this cap. Just secure win, you know? Hi, Cal. All right. We're shooting. Yeah, carrier's going to be a little bit before spotting, so I'll, I'll take a blind shot. Nice. Got ourselves the cap. Going to win in two minutes. Feels good, man. Unfortunate bounce. <laughs> but hey, still a really good game. Three kills, 105. Maybe I should be playing these kind of things more. Although, if I could pick a perfect scenario for a ship like this one, it would be this match. Uh, it's tier 6 matchmaker, we're on an off flank with a bunch of light cruisers that decide to go broadside to us. <laughs> we don't get focused that much, you know? That's probably the dream scenario for this ship. So I wouldn't expect it to run this good all the time. Especially up into some of that tier 8 matchmaker at its worst. Oof. That is rough to deal with. Suddenly all the battleships are overmatching you literally everywhere, and you're a bit of a brick. Hmm. Too angled. So overmatch his bow? Her bow, maybe? Or should I just swap to HE? Haven't done any HE this game. I don't think it's that good, if I remember right. 20% fire chance. I do have Expert Loader, just because I like to take that on pretty much all these ships with a longer reload. It's just so nice to be able to swap easily. Okay, last one. We'll swap over. Yeah, a very noticeable difference between <laughs> outnumbered being procced and not. Uh, if we get this skill, that's up to four. Nearly a Kraken in this first game? Dang. Adrenaline Rush giving us that juicy reload. Nice. We do get him. Okay. 120? Four kills? <laughs> Did not envision this going this well, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> oh, no. This might mean I have to try this outnumbered thing on higher tier ships. Although it might be harder to proc. This, this was a very blessed matchmaker for me. And just the way the game played out. It just kind of all fell into my lap, didn't it? So, on to game number two here, I promise this is a different game, even though we spawned on the same map, on the same flank, and we got tier 6 matchmaker again. <laughs> uh, we're going to play a little more aggressive this time. Might have played a little too passive last game, it certainly worked out. Um, this is really not the game to play aggressive, but we're going to try it. Double carrier, double sub is uh, never a fun time. So, either this is going to be fun because we pushed in, or it's going to be over quickly, and then I won't have to suffer for as long. Either way, uh, should make a decent second game to the video here. Already got ourselves uh, one of them after us. Lovely. You hate to see it. Double sub division terrifies me as well. It means that they probably spawn together, <laughs> which would mean they're both over here. I suppose we do have uh, ASWs that are on the planes. Hindenburg still crying in a corner. <laughs> Only six kilometers, though. Um, but still, hey, first Citadels of the game. Let's go. We'll take it. Unfortunate that guy's not spotted. Since he was nice and broadside. Okay, their DD is here. Maybe that means the sub spawned on the- Yes! The sub spawned on the other side, guys! Oh, so lucky. Feels good, man. Oh, 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 oh. I 
Nice shots, Congo. Very well done. And we get the finishes. Let's go. I'm even going to rep that, actually, because I don't think I'll get lit on fire terribly quickly here. We'll see. Swap over to the HE for this Monahan. I'm going to just charge at him with the Hydro, right? Pop it now so we know if there's any Torps coming for us. And we're just going to send it at these guys. I guess. Battleship's not looking. At us, at least. Attention. Reporting the target position. Do we spot him? We do. Nice. Well, he goes dark right away. Send out some Torps. More than likely, we'll use the left side against us, this battleship. Unfortunately, we are not quick enough to catch up to this DD, that sucks. But, there's the Torps. Mm, it's gonna force us a little too broadside to this guy. Oh, wait. Take a turn here, try and uh, avoid the incoming shells. Swap to the HE. Blast the DD real quick. A little bit. Nice. Oh boy. Yep. Yep, that hurts. Need that. Come on, team. Problem solved, sir. Got him. Turn the torp tubes! <laughs> oh, what's this guy gonna do, huh? What do you think? Turn out? Oh, you're gonna go like this. So that's what we will do. You can kind of always tell what a battleship is gonna be doing. Oh, the bounces, let's go. By how they're turning their guns. Typically, a battleship has a very, very long turret traverse, so that's going to be very limiting. So if they're going to get a shot at you, which typically they're going to go for, um, they're going to have to use their rudder. And that's what we used there to just kind of predict where this guy was going to go. Now, we are going to get focused here by the enemy carriers, as to be expected. We're charging into their territory rather quickly here. But we might catch one of them. be rather lovely. We're a little slow, though. I do have these fighter planes, I suppose. Ooh, there's a Molotov here. Those tend to explode as well. We do have a Congo with us as well. That guy's pretty quick, so he'll be caught up with us in no time. Bit of a blowout, I guess, would be the right way of saying things here. Um, but a pretty fun start to the match. Kind of sent it in, and we're successful. At least at these tiers, we can do that. I just want to get this Molotov, man. Please. He's reversing and spawn. I need support. Now, are those Torps going for the Congo or for me? Either. Okay. Ooh, damage. There we go. Okay, Ranger's been found. It's okay if I don't get them. I, I would like to get them, but if the Congo here on this flank just like absolutely obliterates these guys, I'm okay with that too just here for the show, you know? Since we don't have range. That guy definitely does. Actually, pretty good damage here to this angled Molotov. Hmm. I guess I guess these these are basically Sharnors guns, right? Pretty good at when they're a tier lower, huh? Yeah, that dispersion though. <laughs> Notice we're not procking outnumbered. Uh, simply because there's too many people within our, our firing range. That's how it works, by the way. You have to have, I think it's equal or more enemy ships spotted within your firing range. No. Hmm. How do we have it procced here? There's only two, and we have... Oh, wait, I don't count. I don't count. I'm silly. So, two friendlies, two enemies. That's enough to proc it, is the idea. And it makes a decent difference, I would say, to your dispersion. Also, we're faster than when that when that happens, which is a nice benefit. 
are A ready. Can turn into these without too much issue. There he is, the Ranger! Oh, he's so broadside, man. I'm gonna do it. This probably sets me up poorly for the next strike. But I'm gonna do it. We're gonna greed. Slightly towards the back, kind of where the engines are back here. Uh, we're gonna use our plane maybe to keep him lit. No! Over pens! Please get him. Please. Yeah, get him, Congo. There it is. Let's go. Big hits. Please. Is there AP bombs? That's gonna hurt. Oh no! Game Y! <laughs> game Y! Game Y! Game Y! Yes, I am here for the show, Mr. Congo. I'm apparently useless. I'm sorry. Still not a Citadel. Dang. Wow. We still weren't able to collect the other three. Hmm. Unfortunate. But hey, blowout. But we did manage to actually play the game. So I'll take it. Another four kill match. Top score. Maybe, maybe Graf Speed's a bit of a clapper, huh? Or maybe I got tier six matchmaker. Didn't have to deal with those higher tier ships. Although carriers, double sub, you know, wasn't on my flank, but we can ignore that. <laughs> uh, seems pretty good, honestly. Uh, so there you go, ship request completed. Another one in the books. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing me play a different ship. Lower tiers like that kind of is part of the reason I like doing the ship request series. Really just want to play things that you guys are interested in. Things that I wouldn't usually pick up or be doing in my normal gameplay. So thank you very much for watching. Again, remember to comment below what you want to see next. Thank you very much again. I hope you guys enjoyed and have a great rest of your day.